Let's see how this is going to go together now. Got this. Need to check it, make sure it's not flipped upside down, you know, like that or anything. Okay, so now I can roll that over. Take my mounting bracket on the back. And see, it's got little notches here to fit around the holes where I'm going to screw back in the uh, the burners, you know, the handle. And so I know that's exactly where it needs to go. So once that tightens up, that's going to line up. The next one's going to line up. These other two on the left are going to line up. And then my little pad here, I've got to fit that down in here. And it, just, and it fits right in there. See, there's a little notch in the back here for this tape, so I know the tape is in the right spot. Be careful with that. And then when I tighten that up, like that, that's how the front's going to look. Okay? So now, I've got to lower this down. and attach it to here. Remember my two mounting screws? That those two mounting screws are going to mount right here. This is the tricky part, so I'm going to have to hold it up in there and get those started. Okay, got it down here. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to wrap this through there, but it, it'll go. Now I've just got to line up those the screw into the mounting hole. Where is it? There it is. Way up over there. Okay. I got it started right. I might have to check that. I can get this other one first. See if it'll line up. And it's lining up. Wow. Yeah. I could have used some help on this. But how do appliance guys do it themselves? Just like this. You know? Check it out. The screws didn't seem like they were going, but because it's a new mounting bracket, you just gotta put a little force behind it. There. Whew. Here's something else I could have done. I could have just left this off because it came back down. I don't really need that right now, you know. Once I mount that, see I could have just held it up right there and done that, then put that on. But I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure because remember, the other one had these little red lights were connected on uh, to those fittings right there. So I'm gonna leave that off for a second. Got this mounting bracket on here tight. Now the trick is to put this down and connect it up. This is where the metal hits the road. This piece right here has got to fit back down in here gently. And somehow I got to get it pushed down in there all the way. Got to make sure 
I don't think that's all the way. I think I gotta work work at that or something. Hmm, maybe I do have it. It's not doesn't seem to want to go any further. Look at that some more. Be careful with that. That's the main thing on this job. You've got to get plugged in properly. Okay, I thought I, I think I got it pushed in far enough. It's not going any further. There's some plastic on the outside that's hitting the edge. So I think I'm I think I'm in there. I don't think I have to push that in any further. I remember the other one was out about that far. So I think that's in all the way. Okay. Now we get ready for the next step. Okay, I thought I, I think I got it pushed in far enough. It's not going any further. There's some plastic on the outside that's hitting the edge. So I think I'm I think I'm in there. I don't think I have to push that in any further. I remember the other one was out about that far. So I think that's in all the way. Okay? Now we get ready for the next step. So I can put this, push this back down there carefully, like that. And see, once I line that up, I know my front cover is going to be lined up exactly too. Okay. So I can fish this back through here if I want. I'm going to push these back in, each one. You know, fit them through the front cover. Ah, uh, slide that over a little bit. I was wondering. Didn't seem to be fitting exactly. I'm trying to sh shove it through the wrong hole. There we go. Push these through here like that. And I think I'm going to do that and then tilt this back up and put the screws on the front to hold this before I snap this other light thing back into place. Follow? Keep it going. Oh wow. That was a pain. I figured I finally had to open up this oven door a little bit to support the bottom ledge of that so that I could hold this all together because with one person it's almost impossible. I held it like that and held the back side and started these screws and so now I've got all the uh, handles you know the screws next to the handles that's what holds this whole thing by the way once you get that this the middle keypad is all lined up okay Jeez. Remember this right here? Got to snap that back over that little red light. Okay? It's a definite little groove in there. So you put that down in there. You want to catch that and push it in and snap it in. Okay, there's a definite little nib right there and there's a hole in the trim. And that's what holds the bottom. Uh, to fit on there. Same thing over a little further. And um, then the screws come up from the bottom too. Okay, so you got to flip it over the top of that. You know, swivel this up. Fit it in there. 
and wedge it down on there and then we'll lift the top over this ledge. Well, I'm getting it. Remember I told you to put the bottom in first? Well, you got to put the top in first and sneak it over this ledge, push it in here and then swivel it down. Okay, so now I've got it lined up in there. That looks nice. I'm going to cross my fingers. It's going to work. Now, I, now I'm going to put my, my uh, screws back down in here to hold this before I turn it back on. I want to turn it back on before I slide it back into the hole to make sure it works. Okay, so now all these screws underneath here, I've got to line those up, and they're pretty much lined up now. All I have to do is screw them in. Remember these plastic ends? There's a screw that fits in underneath here too for that. I took those out. I've got to make sure to put those back in. So I got one underneath this one and one underneath the other one. So I got the three mounting screws underneath here, and then the two screws for these plastic end caps. Make sure you put those back. Got that all screwed up underneath there. I've got some. Uh, you know the screws for the sides, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and see if this keypad works. I'm very anxious to see if that's gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the power back on. We're gonna see what we got.